Millions of years ago, sea levels were much higher than they are today. During that time, the carbonate that makes up the platform of Florida was deposited. And as sea levels dropped, that platform became exposed and chemical weathering processes shaped it into the form that we know it today. One of the results of this chemical weathering process is the formation of caves. The cave below us has been formed where water has been concentrated along flow paths of preferential dissolution. Within these flow paths, water and CO2 interact with the limestone and dissolve away the calcium carbonate. Sometimes small passages and caves open up to much larger areas like the one I'm standing in now. This part of the back cave that we call the lake room was shaped by the interaction of water with limestone. At one time, the water table was much higher than it is today. You can actually see a relic of the height of an ancient water table if you follow this wall all the way along this cavernous room. When CO2 from the surface drains through the soil and mixes with the water, it forms a weak acid called carbonic acid. And that carbonic acid can actually dissolve the limestone away and form large cavernous areas like the one we're standing in today. Presently, the water table is much lower than it was in the geologic past, as evidence from this scar that you can trace along the top of the ceiling of this cavern. This cave is a phreatic cave, meaning that it formed in the zone of saturation. Today, the water table is just below me here. The cave is a collection or an amalgamation of these paths of preferential dissolution, where the limestone was more, more prone to the chemical weathering processes that I described before. This is a great example of one of these paths. Limestone is a sedimentary rock, meaning it's essentially composed of the remains of shallow marine invertebrates that have become cemented together. Here in Florida, the Ocala Formation is a collection of these shallow marine invertebrates that once inhabited the ancient oceans surrounding the Florida Peninsula. The dissolution of limestone is a chemical weathering process, and it's the key process that shaped the limestone and the karst aquifer system here in Florida. Limestone rocks associated with the Ocala Formation cover much of the Florida platform. In some areas, the limestone of the Ocala Formation reaches depths greater than 2,500 feet below sea level. This gives you an idea of the amount of limestone that's required from these shallow marine invertebrates to build the Ocala Formation. The porosity, or void spaces, found in the rocks of the Ocala Formation is very high. It's within these pore spaces that dissolution proceeds and eventually creates cavities large enough for a person to fit in. Over time, the limestone slowly dissolved away, especially in areas where the flow is concentrated, like in this fissure above. This is an area where flow was pre preferentially concentrated and dissolution progressed relatively rapidly. And slowly, over time, these fissures became interconnected and formed the cavernous passages within this cave.